local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Starting out very warm and more humid than yesterday because the wind is a little more calm uh, as compared to this point yesterday. We start you out with our live look from our Virginia Tech Carillion Sky Cam. You're starting to notice the clouds bubbling up a little bit, and as they continue to grow vertically, that's going to mean some storms for us. The more widespread storm is going to be focused along this front, so to our north and to our west today, mainly looking at some scattered stuff as well as tomorrow, too. And you got to think this time of year, anything that bubbles up is working with a lot of heat and humidity, so localized flooding is going to be possible today and tomorrow. Might see a down tree or two, but I don't think this is going to be a widespread severe threat. And as these storms start to rise into the cooler air above us, you may get some pieces of hail falling out of a storm or two as well. Here we are around 2 p.m. and you may start to see some things bubbling up along the Floyd Montgomery and Roanoke County lines, also south into parts of Grayson County and moving from southwest to northeast on a scattered basis as we go through the rest of the afternoon afternoon and this evening. There's 8 p.m. and notice after that we start to lose some of the, the juice for thunderstorms. Most of the storms will be to our north and west overnight, but some clouds and patchy fog developing by tomorrow morning. Now after lunchtime tomorrow, some of the same areas near into the west of the Blue Ridge Parkway will start to see some storms bubbling up. These more so moving from west to east, so the chance for storms is going to be pretty much equal throughout the area tomorrow afternoon, but then again after sunset at the chance going down for those kinds of storms for tonight. Patchy fog again. Most of our storms to the north, but certainly muggy out there. Temperatures for most of us in the mid to upper 60s, some lower 60s west toward Withville. That's going to be one of the cooler spots tomorrow as well. Upper 70s and lower 80s in the New River Valley. Roanoke at 85. Ditto for Martinsville. Some mid to upper 80s in Lynchburg and in Southside. So as we track these summertime storms, you can do the same with us by downloading your local weather authority app. Keep an eye on the radar and if any alerts are issued from the National Weather Service. So now through Saturday, you see this green shading. We are on the warm and very humid side of this front. It passes through by Sunday in the beige colors, indicating we won't be quite as humid nor as warm by Sunday and Monday. So after that, we start to look toward the remnants of Cristobal, which really looks to make landfall uh, near Louisiana Sunday night. After that, maybe just some remnant remnant rain, excuse me, by Wednesday and Thursday. But in the meantime, just kind of caught in a typical pattern for you. Scattered storms after lunchtime tomorrow, maybe a stray storm or two late in the day Saturday. So with free fishing days going on this weekend in the Commonwealth, we're looking at Sunday being the pick day. Temperatures starting out in the 60s, lunchtime temps in the 70s with highs Sunday afternoon in the lower 80s. But even Saturday offers us a decent amount of dry time, just going to be quite hot and humid with high temperatures near 90. Still going to keep things very nice by Monday, upper 70s and lower 80s by then. But heading into the middle of next week, things turn a little hotter, a little more humid. And as the remnants of Cristobal move to the north, we could have a few uh, more showers and storms coming back into the forecast by next Wednesday.